some more high caliber public toilets. And um, it looks like I'm actually going to have to go. But that whole toilet thing got me thinking about another issue I have, which is my friend, whose parents are toilet cleaners. Now, given that is a broad question, so we're going to start off with the overall thing, and then we're going to break it down to specific things. First is the marriage issue. It all started out when... My friend, his parents are forcing him to get married. Admittedly, while I was confused, he was the third friend I'd seen in this situation, although he was the first male, and he certainly wouldn't be the last. One week he had no girlfriend, and the next week he suddenly did. But not only did he have a girlfriend, he was engaged to her. He is supposed to be getting married this December, but that was five months ago, and now he says he still doesn't know if he's getting married. He's like, you don't understand these things. I'm like, dude, it's your own wedding. You don't know if you're getting married or not. Nope, apparently he doesn't. I mean, I was there when it all went down. I was sitting at his house, and his house is not really a house. It's like this concrete box, and it's next to a public toilet. It can fit, in terms of space, it would be able to fit a double bed. He no longer lives with his parents. He's moved out. Um, but, you know, they still control them. They make really good chicken soup. His family have always been really nice to me. So, you know, one day I called him and I was like, what's up? What's going on? And I'd only spoken to him a week before that. And he was like, oh, I'm just out shopping. I'm like, you're shopping? Why are you shopping? You never go shopping. And he's like, oh, I'm with a girl. I'm like, oh, okay, so you got a girlfriend? And he's like, yeah, kind of. I'm like, well, that was fast. Last time I checked, you had, like, no one on your radar. And he was like, oh, but I'm going to go back home, so go back to my place and, like, we'll have a meal. I was like, okay. So I got there you know, waited around, and then suddenly he shows up with like all these bags. I'm talking Prada, 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 Gucci, 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 like all that kind of stuff. Um, and I was like, you're poor as f where did you get the money? I don't know. I'm sure they've borrowed it from someone, or maybe they've, that's like their life savings. And so he's looking exhausted. There's no girl. She's gone home. His parents like, blah, blah, blah. they're not talking Chinese. I mean, they are talking Chinese. It's like from their province. I have no idea what's going on. He looks like, oh, and I'm like, what is going on? And his cousin's there translating into Mandarin for me. And he's like, so basically, his parents are forcing him to get married. And he's saying, I don't really feel ready for it. And that's pretty much how it went down. And then they bought all these sweets the same night. And they were like sitting there making sweetie packs for the engagement party that was going to take place in a few days. And I was like, what? And then he's like, oh. I've got to like escape. I'm like, okay, so do it. And then he's like, no, I have to be a man. I have to become an adult. This is the growing up issue. This is the issue I have with this. He's 23. He's technically an adult. Um, in China, in the countryside, he's expiring. If your parents are forcing you to get married, what part of that makes you an adult? <sighs> okay, so the definition of adult basically means you take the position, you wear all the clothes, but actually someone else is controlling you like a puppet. Is that what it is? Because that is all I see. Secondly, I was taught as a child to be organized, to be on time. Now, I had an issue with that growing up, but I have made huge improvements since I was about 17. And I came to China and it all went to hell because it's really exciting because you just never know what's going to happen every day. You wake up in China and it's just going to be like, ah! People here just are not organized. They don't show up on time. They sometimes don't show up at all. They change schedules on a regular basis. And these people are not necessarily artists. And I've asked other Chinese people about this and they said, yeah, it's just like that. It makes me wonder, how did they get the rocket launched? How did anyone build the Great Wall? Was it a last minute decision? Hey, you know what? I think we should build a wall. Now, I know there's an actual history to it, but I think that the history was made up, and what actually happened was it was a mistake. What does it mean to be grown up in China? So, being the professional that I am, I have decided to stop always videoing myself, 
and actually investigate this issue and take it to the streets. Hmm? Okay, so we didn't start out too well on any level. <laughs> So, in the meantime, while I collect other evidence, we go back to the issue of the toilet. And um, what I'm trying to work out, which I haven't worked out for a really long time, is why do the toilets, the high caliber ones, have that weird head thing on the back? Have a look at the picture. What is it there for? Is it so that the toilet water doesn't spray out? Because that never happens to the ones without it. As far as I'm concerned, it just gets in my road when I want to squat. 